F3. F3. What is F3? What is my move here? I'm gonna guess that I played bishop e6. I have no idea. No, I can't sack. Now I can sack on e. Now I can sack because otherwise he has queen e2 to trade. That's that's why I can't sack right away. That's why I put the bishop on e6. F3 is a top engine move. No, no. Oh, F3 could be. You're right. Cause you're right. It's a reverse Stafford. And and Le Levy's game against Eric Rosen when they played their match, it was F6. Maybe F3 is a move. I don't know. There is an F3 D3 line. Okay. Okay, I mean, I don't know. This does not look right. I probably should have just castled, but whatever. Which one do I take? I think I take this one because I need to keep his king under pressure here. Looks like I can castle and put really fast pressure down this line. I think I have a banana for you for the two months. Just castle pressure here. Queen a4 maybe? Okay, queen a5 is the move I want to play, but it's no good. It's just sidestep. Okay, he does go... Okay, I think I'm going to sack. Let's have some fun. Oh, I should develop my bishop then. Why did I... I don't know why I did this. This was pretty stupid of me. Wait, that's a blunder though, isn't it? Tricky position. Okay, goes g4. I can take... No, wait. Okay, let's go here. Maybe queen g6 was maybe, maybe better. Takes. Let's go... So let's play b6 here. Okay, swing the queen over, hit the rook in the corner. I have queen e4. I also have just bishop h6 next move as well. I think it's except for the prime. Thanks so much to except. Okay, I keep the bishop on the line. It looks very dangerous for white here. Okay, I go check, hit the king. And I think I'm just winning. Oh, he's got. Ooh, he's just gonna lose now. Very brutal. Just take. Let's just take. This queen d3 is just checkmate here. Game over. Okay, let's keep going. Why is Rosen not in this tournament? I think I thought Rosen. He said he he was he would join or something. Apparently, what a comeback! Yeah, but I'm sorry to conclude this opening. It's just terrible. That's my that's my conclusion. Oh, is he in the tournament? Oh, sorry, he is. Yeah, he's got 33. Nine out of nine. <laughs> nine out of nine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what is this really just lost? I mean, this is so disappointing. I, I really think this is just losing losing. I just, I, I actually think this is just losing for black. Yeah, I guess I just dropped the bishop back. I mean, it's just such a bad position here. I'll go here to hit the pawn, maybe like. Thank you, Reggae Speedway, for the two months. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reggae Speedway. Okay, I guess I go here. I go B5, B4, try to remove the defense of the pawn. Okay, 
A3. Okay, I keep attacking. Let's take. I want to go like Rook B8 and attack here, maybe. Let's take with a Rook, maybe Knight C5. Yes, C3. I think I go here because I, I might want to double stack it. So that's why I didn't go all the way back because the double stack idea exists. Okay, it goes f4. I mean, again, I can play c5 here. I actually think I should because I think b4 is a really serious threat. So I just want to go here and rook b8. Although I had knight c5, knight b3, which maybe was a better idea. Possibly. Possibly it was a better idea. Let's go here. I have rook b8 next move. Pre pressure on the, uh, the pressure on b2 now. And no knight c4 because I can just take with a bishop. Let's go here. Pressure on b2. There's knight b1. I can obviously take. I'm going to go here. Maybe bishop a4. Try to line up some. Oh, I had queen a2 also. Rosen is playing knight c3 h3 so it just wins then is it is it really that sad that just knight c3 h3 just wins that's actually kind of sad i think chris likes chris for the three months let's go here Go here. You know, Ryan Mack for the five months. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's fork the rooks. Take, I have queen b4, I have queen c2. Actually, wait, I can just take, take. Thank you, Jim Candy, for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to James Canty. He's a national master from Detroit, Michigan. Signed with the esports organization, I think about two months ago now. So congrats once again to, to James Canty. Hope all is well in Detroit, man. Actually, yeah, I think I think when I think of Canty, last time I saw him was, uh, wait a second, is this 94? There's some dude, there's some weird trick. Is it this? I'm going to go for it. This, I, I don't know what the trick is, but I have to do something. Yeah, I, I'm going to go for this. I don't, I don't even know if it's right, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Okay, he takes the juicer. Let's go check. Maybe just g5 next move to hit the bishop. Is knight e4 and then bishop f2? Yeah, I mean I've seen I know I know that's another order. I already played that earlier, but um yeah. Yeah, knight e4, bishop f2, king e2, and then what's the move after king e2 though? Is it is it queen h4, queen d3, and then what? Is it actually a draw? <laughs> this is a very funny draw. Okay, that's actually really funny. It's pretty funny. They need a Geiger for the 10 months. Thank you so much to Geiger. Okay, let's go here. Okay, but now I go here in 84, and again, I'm pretty happy with my position. Guess I go back and play bishop e6, maybe? I 
think I can go here and castle maybe. Now, problem for my opponents that both pawns are under attack from the double double bishop combo. I need a cool K for the 350 bits. Now, now this should just be winning. I'm up a pawn. Uh, D4 is very weak, and everything is pretty good here. Goes to A4. I can just play A5, I guess, to, to cut it down. Okay, let's go bishop d5 here. Can obviously take here. Just takes. Actually, I'm not really sure why I did this, to be honest. It's kind of a little bit dubious, but... Oh, wait, no, there's just checkmate. What am I, what am I smoking? Okay, I just go b6 and I just win. Or queen f5. Let's keep going. I might get Eric here, maybe. Will I get Eric? Or he's still playing, okay. Oh, no, I don't get Eric. Okay, I, this knight c3, h3 seems like it's winning. I think this is, I've concluded this is just winning for white, basically. Yeah. My conclusion is that this is, this is winning though. Let's go d3, bishop b3, bishop c5. Yeah, that's my conclusion is that this is just winning. That's just my honest uh, conclusion. I'm going to castle here. I think you're not an Asian boy for the prime. Thank you so much. Not an Asian boy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have I played poker uh, in the past? I have. Yeah, let's go here and trade. Have I seen Minari yet? Oh, Eric lost. Eric lost his game. Eric lost. He got mated. Was he black or white? Was he black or white? Uh, oh, he lost. He lost his. He lost his white. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say if he if he lost if he lost his black, like I could see it, but he lost his white. Really? Hmm. Check that guy's profile. Um, he might not be clean again. Let's go Bishop E2 here, Rook F3. There's a lot I could say on that topic too, but um, again. Let's go Rook F6. Oh, I was about to say, have I seen Minari? No, I have not seen Minari yet. Do a keep this has returned? I doubt that, you guys. <laughs> okay, I think I just go like Rook F1, maybe. I don't know why I went Rook F6. Rook F3 was just winning. Very strange by me. Have I got something on my eye? Yes, I do. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, just take and take. go here in rook, rook f3 maybe again i have a lot of extra pawns now i have seven pionkov he is one two three four five so i'm up two i'm up, i'm plus two pionkovs okay let's just go rook f4 and bring the king back oh yeah nemo has not sent me a playlist with polish music that's true yeah that's true good point that's that's a, uh that's a good point no i'm i'm trying i'm actually my eyes there's something in my eye anyway um Okay, let's get our king overtaken here. Vieja, Vieja, yeah. Yeah, let's go rook h1, rook h3, take the pawn. Yeah. If you have family stuff, go attend it. Um, no, I have no family stuff, thankfully. Um, I'm going to start pushing my pawns on this flank as well. Um, let's go a5, I guess I take... 
Okay, I'm gonna go B3 here, try to consolidate. Okay, I'll just take and go E4, I guess. Um, I can play C4 here. I'm gonna go C4, maybe takes and King F3, maybe Rook D5, maybe Rook H6 here. Let's go check, play E5 maybe. Should be winning here. Let's go here and Rook D5, I guess. Let's take. And now it just wins again. He has no way to create a pass pawn, so I'm just winning with this outside juicer. I run the king around and I eat all three of his pawns. What happened with Arena Kings? Uh, Arena Kings, um, it ended. It, I think I think the season ended about two two and a half weeks ago. Maybe maybe it's a little bit more than that now. Um, but yeah, the season is over. Let's go bishop c5. Okay, now this one, is it, I think h5? Yeah, like, why, I mean, I lost before to this. Is there really no way to play against this? I'm going to retreat my bishop, try to do something different here. Knight g4. I think I'm just gonna. Man, this opening is really just bad. This opening is just bad. This opening is just bad. It's just bad. It's just a bad opening. Just a bad. Or oh, he just wanted us a pawn, but it's just a bad opening. <laughs> it's just a bad. It's just a bad opening. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I, I'm just losing every game. If they know to play H3, they're just like, what are you really playing for? Like, I, I just... I mean, what are you playing for even? I just don't understand. It's like you get no compensation for the for the pawn. It's Hote Garbo. Hote Garbo, yeah. Let's just go here and Queen F7, I guess. I guess I go here. I have C6 or something. Let's be a little bit careful how I play this. Let's go here. No knight B5s. Let's be a little bit careful. Will we see the Stafford Gambit in um in uh in the candidates? No chance. No no shot, Bucko. No shot. I just think it's winning. I really do, do just think it's uh I really do just think it's winning. I really do. I think it's just winning for white with Knight C3 H3 specifically. I think it's winning, but I think also this D3 D3 C D3 Bishop E2 C3 order is winning too. That that's what I would say. I th I think it's that's just how it is. He goes rook c1. I can play rook e5. I have c6 as well, but I think just rook e5 is good. There's some queen h4, queen f6, h4 line. Uh huh, okay. Um, let's go. Hmm. Let's go here. Because takes, I take. There's no fossil because I just take. Winning, I I would say winning means that with technically correct play, if you play the technical moves, you'll win a hundred. Basically, technical means you'll just win a hundred out of a hundred if you find the right technical moves. That doesn't mean that you'll always be able to do that, but if you could play perfectly in the position, you would win it a hundred out of a hundred. That's that's what it means. Rook d1 is a good move, by the way. Very dangerous move that I'd be very very careful about. I do. Have, do have queen e8 maybe. Yeah, let's go here. I think immortal poke for the nine months. Thank you to immortal poke. Appreciate it. Thank you. Chess is fun when you're winning. When you're winning, chess is uh, chess is awesome. It's it's really it's it's the greatest game in the world.
Why I stopped doing viewer arenas with standard position? I'm not I'm not saying that I'll never do them again, but I do want to do some themed ones. So I guess King is I do have C5 here, which is a move. Let's go C5. So I hit the Queen if he moves the Knight. If he checks, I just take. He resigns. Okay, let's go. One more to go. An end game arena would be fun. Oh, you mean like just a standard end? Yeah, I mean there's so many things you can do with, with like various positions and so forth. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's play the same line. Knight c3. I think they're both winning, is what I would say. I think this this is just winning. Yeah, let's go d3. I think I've solved it. I think there's just wins for white. Okay, let's go here. Bishop e3, of course. Chaturanga Arena, by the way. That would be an interesting idea. Um, let's just go here and trade queens. Again, I'm up a pawn here at the start. So if we trade pieces, oh, whatever, I'll just take it. It's free. Free juicer, I'll take it. Ah, uh, there's some trick in the other line. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, let's go here. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Queen h4, g3. Oh, wow. That's really, really cool, actually. That's very creative. Okay, let's drop back. I like that idea. Berlin Arena? Yes. A Berlin Arena? I There are a few things in my life that I dislike more than, than the Berlin. Um, it, it, in many ways, in my opinion, it's kind of it's made chess very, uh, very stale, shall we say. I think that's and I think that's being generous. It's really staled the game out. The Berlin brings disrepute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean I I mean in, in all seriousness, that's one of the things like in terms of like the streaming versus playing chess professionally, I, I mean I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The thought of thought of spending many hours having to having to waste my life studying for the Berlin defense, um uh to play tournaments versus being versus streaming, that's that's like one of those things that like to me it's it's pretty clear cut which one I'd rather choose. Why do I play it then? Because ultimately it's the best opening. It's like, it's it's the most solid opening where a computer can't just crack your preparation, basically. Yeah, I do play the Berlin, but my point is that I'm saying, yeah, it's Kramnik's fault, yes. Kramnik, I mean, I think with Kramnik, you can look at it two ways. Either you can sarcastically say like, Kramnik is the worst player ever, he ruined chess. You can take that attitude. You can also take the other attitude, which is that like, He's a genius because he found something that even 20 years later on, even with computers improving every day, it still is it still is very fundamentally sound. Um, so so it's 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 a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag, I would say. Let's go H3 again. Until the Berlin came out, the Spanish was a very good opening. Yeah, I mean, for 500 years, the Spanish was the preeminent. It was the preeminent op defense. I mean, e4, e5, and it was that was the main, main system. And um, and it's true. Nowadays, everybody generally tries to find other systems. I think he found it with a computer, but I, th I think... Actually, that's an interesting question, because I don't know the origins of how he and his team derived it. Um, but regardless of how they... Is he trying to get tricky with some bishop g4? He's trying to get dirty with some something weird. Um, but yeah. I, I would say um, that the basically, I don't know the origins, um, but it was brilliant. It was brilliant. That's why he won the World Chess Championship, was because that opening, it, it really took Gary Kasparov out of his comfort zone and into an endgame. Kasparov was a very dynamic player. He, he That's not to say he wasn't very strong in endgames, too, but he was a very dynamic player, and um, and uh, and it really neutralized his, his, uh, his strengths. He, he lost that strength of getting very complicated, very aggressive positions at the start. And it, it existed before, you guys, just to be clear. It's not like it's just some new revelation. It did exist before, but it was sort of a very old line that had fallen out of favor. I mean, to, to give you guys an example, the Berlin defense was was played in the very first official World Chess Championship between Wilhelm Steinitz and... Um, and and ha Johannes Zuckertort. Um so it was played in the very first World Chess Championship uh you know o over 200 and base I think it was 1858 if I'm not mistaken it might have been 55 but I mean basically like two, 250 years ago it was played uh, I mean so yeah that's like it's it's crazy let's go here was I there yes you guys I was there in in the building in St. Louis um 
when they played those four matches. I was there in 18, 1850, whatever. Let's go between two and night of three. Um, yeah. Um, let's go, uh, let's go night of three here. Um, yeah, sorry, that was, uh, sorry, that was, uh, sorry, that was like 150 years, sorry, 150 years, sorry. Um, okay, let's go queen e1 and queen c3 here. Let's go queen c3. It was 1886, okay, sorry, I have the wrong year. What did I say? I said 1858, so it was 1886, okay. Oh, maybe, you know what I'm thinking, I... Well, something significant happened with Morphe in in, eight, in in the 1850s. Actually, that's probably what it is. Uh, you weren't there unless you can tell us uh, what you were wearing. Could Morphe beat a hoodie guy? I I've said it before. I think, I mean, I think Morphe by today's modern standards would be like would be like a strong master player. Um, I don't think it'd be an international master, so I, I do think someone with a hoodie probably could beat him. Think again, Daddy, for the 13. But again, as is said, at the time when, when Morphe was uh, was playing, he was like probably like 22, 2300. His opponents were probably like 1800. So there was a huge gap between Paul Morphe and everybody else. So it's not really a fair comparison.